In this video, I'm going to be talking about the congenital adrenal enzyme deficiencies. This is brought to you by Dirty Medicine. Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh, Dirty, no, not the adrenal enzymes. Relax, we are not going to need to refer to this diagram. I'm putting this here because this is probably what jumped into your brain, right? As soon as I said adrenal enzymes, you probably thought, oh my god, I need to finally memorize that stupid enzyme flow chart that you see on this slide that I always skip through in all of my review textbooks and in all of my question banks. Well, that's the truth, guys. You absolutely don't need to know this. And unless you're going to be an endocrinologist or a very, very, very nerdy, maybe even PhD level internal medicine doctor, there's really no point in memorizing this. So throw it out of your brain, take that piece of paper that has this on it, crumble it up, throw it in the toilet and flush that puppy because you don't need to know this. Instead, what I'm going to focus on is what you do need to know and what you need to know specifically for all the steps and levels of USMLE and Comlex. Now, if you flip through first aid or whatever review textbook you're using, you'll probably notice that there are normally three major adrenal enzyme deficiencies that get mentioned. And only two of those are really particularly high yield. And those are shown on this slide, the 21 hydroxylase deficiency and the 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency. The other one is very low yield and I don't recommend that you commit it to memory unless you have some extra brain space lying over at the end of this lecture. But for all intents and purposes, what I think you should take away from this video is how to differentiate 21 hydroxylase deficiency from 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency. And specifically what the test writers are going to expect you to know and what's actually pretty high yield is being able to discern what happens to the mineralocorticoids what happens to the sex hormones, what happens to the blood pressure, the sodium, and the potassium in each of these two disease states. Now, if you feel slightly overwhelmed right now because you're looking at this chart and you already don't quite understand the adrenal enzyme deficiencies, and now you're seeing all these things that you need to know that I'm telling you are high yield, I want you to relax because the way that you're going to learn this if you watch my video today is with a pretty awesome mnemonic. It is so simple. You just tell yourself a little story and you'll learn all of this information in no time. So the way that my mnemonic works is that I need you to imagine somebody who just wants to go to college. All they want to do is go to college. And the way that we're going to use this mnemonic is that we're going to look at the 21 hydroxylase deficiency and take the number 21 out and that'll be our 21 year old. And then we'll look at the 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency and take the number 17 out and have a 17 year old. So in this story, you've got a 21 year old college student and a 17 year old high school student. And remember, the goal is to go to college. Everybody wants to go to college. So here's how I'm gonna set up this mnemonic for you. So we've got our 21 year old and he's happy as a clam, right? Because he's in college, he made it. He gets to study, learn, once, learn what he wants to learn, go out and party with his friends. He's living it up, he's happy. But our 17 year old high school student, he is miserable because he's still stuck in high school and all he wants to do is go to college. So here we go, we've got our 21 year old who's in college and very happy and our 17 year old who's not in college yet, so he's pretty upset. Now, what does this mean? Well, when you're 21, you're in college, you're manly, right? You've made it. You're a senior in college, you're manly. So that, that stands for increased sex hormones for the 21-year-old. But the 17-year-old, he's not manly yet because he's still a little baby. He's in high school. His voice probably still cracks, to be honest with you. So in the 21 hydroxylase deficiency, there's increased sex hormones because when you're 21 and in college, you're manly. But in the 17 hydroxylase deficiency, that's the 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency, there's decreased sex hormones because you're still in high school, you're not manly yet. So 21 in college, manly, increased sex hormones. 17 still in high school, not manly yet, decreased sex hormones. Now let's move on. So we've talked about sex hormones and now let's talk about mineralocorticoids. So because the 21 year old is really happy, he's not salty. And because the 17 year old is really upset, he is salty. So, you know, we, we say that you're really salty if you're really angry and upset and pissy. So the 21 hydroxylase deficiency is not salty, which is to say that there's decreased mineralocorticoids because the mineralocorticoid is aldosterone and that is responsible for salt. So in the 21 hydroxylase deficiency, we've got a 21 year old student really happy and therefore not salty. So there's decreased mineralocorticoids. But in the 17-alpha hydroxylase deficiency, 
The student who's still in high school and so upset that he's not in college yet, he's really salty. So there's increased levels of mineralocorticoids. Now, if you have a little bit of background knowledge about what a mineralocorticoid is, right? We're talking about aldosterone. You should know what aldosterone does in the body. Aldosterone increases sodium, increases blood pressure, and decreases potassium. So in our 21 hydroxylase deficiency, where there's decreased mineralocorticoids, also known as decreased aldosterone, that means that there's decreased sodium and therefore decreased blood pressure and increased potassium. So in our 21-year-old college student who's not salty and therefore does not have aldosterone or has decreased aldosterone, there's decreased sodium, increased potassium, and decreased blood pressure. But in the 17-alpha hydroxylase deficiency, it's the 17-year-old very salty high school student, right? He's salty. He just wants to go to college. So that means there's increased levels of mineralocorticoids, which is increased aldosterone. And what happens when aldosterone is up? Well, sodium is up, and therefore blood pressure is up, and potassium is down. So just by taking the numbers out of the two deficiencies, right, 21 out of 21 hydroxylase, and 17 out of 17 alpha hydroxylase, and creating this stupid mnemonic, this stupid story that I made up years ago. The 21-year-old is happy because he's in college, but the 17-year-old's pissed off because he's still in high school and just wants to go to college. By doing that, by extracting those numbers, you can learn everything you need to know to differentiate the two adrenal enzyme deficiencies. So go through this story one more time and make sure that it really hits home in your brain and that you can understand it. Because once you do, it's really easy to fill in this chart. And let's just prove it to you by running through the story one more time. So we've got two main adrenal enzyme deficiencies, the 21 hydroxylase deficiency, which will in our story be the happy 21 year old who's already in college because he's 21, and the 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency, which is our 17 year old. And when you're 17, you're usually not yet at college. So you're still stuck in high school and you're pretty upset because you're still in high school and you just wanna to go to college. So the 21 year old, he's in college, he's manly, and therefore his sex hormones are up. But the 17 year old, you know, he's still a little babe. He's in high school, he's, his voice might still be cracking. He's learning how to talk to women. He's still discovering himself. So the sex hormones are gonna be down in the 17 alpha hydroxylase deficiency. Now because our 21 year old is really happy, he's not salty. So he has decreased levels of salt. So mineralocorticoids are down, which means aldosterone is down. And if aldosterone is down, that means that sodium and therefore blood pressure are both down, but potassium is up. But in the 17 year old, he's so salty because he just wants to go to college. He's like, why the hell am I still in high school? And because he's salty, his salt or his mineralocorticoids or his aldosterone are up. And if aldosterone is up, then sodium and by extension blood pressure are both up, but potassium is down. So that's it guys. If you use the dirty medicine stupid mnemonic and just look at the numbers 21 versus 17, you can figure out everything that you need to know based on the fact that the 21 year old is happy because he's in college and the 17 year old is a salty little high schooler. That's all. I know that it's stupid. I know that I went through it fast. But if you know this story, you're not going to get the questions wrong that want you to differentiate between these two. Good luck.